Now, in this lecture, we will find out the value of angle ADC using two different methods. In the drawing, we have triangle ABC. We know that angle AD, ABC, this angle equals to 30 degrees. Angle AC, D, this angle equals to 100 degrees. We also, we also know that side uh, BC equals to side AD and we want to find out the value of this angle, angle ADC. So we we'll start with the first method. In the first method, we will define the length of side AC as A, that is to say AC equals to A units in its length and we will define the length of side BC as B that is to say the length of side BC equals to B units and we also know that it is given us in the question that AB equals to AD equals to BC and according to our definition BC equals to B therefore from this equation AD equals to BC equals to B we will derive that AD also equals to B So we can write here that AD equals to B. In the next step, I will present to you a new law, that is the law of sines. The law of sines is true in any triangle. So, I can write down that in any triangle So, if we have triangle ABC, that could be any triangle This is triangle ABC and we know that side BC of triangle ABC equals to A units in its length and this is angle A side AC of triangle ABC equals to B units in its length and this is angle B and side AB of triangle ABC equals to C units in its length and this is angle C, then according to the law of sines, A over sinus A equals to B over sinus B equals to C over sinus C. And this formula is true in any triangle. I repeat again, A over sinus A equals to B over sinus B equals to C over sinus C. From this formula we will derive that A over sinus A equals to B over sinus B and we will implement the law of sines in our triangle, triangle ABC. So, I will copy triangle ABC in the new page and we will implement the law of sines in triangle ABC. Okay, so,
So this is triangle ABC. We know that side AC equals to A units in its length, side BC equals to B units in its length, angle ABC equals to 30 degrees, and angle ACB equals to 100 degrees. It is given as the question. Angle BAC, this angle is the missing, is the missing angle. So we define it as angle X. We know that the sum of the angles in any triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So in triangle in ABC, the sum of his angles must be equal to 180 degrees. That is to say, angle X plus 100 degrees plus 30 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. Here we will subtract 130 degrees from this equation and we will get that angle X equals to 180 degrees minus 150 degrees is equal to 50 degrees. So the value of angle X is 50 degrees, so I will substitute angle X by 50 degrees. In the next step, we will implement the law of sines in this triangle, triangle ABC. According to the law of sines, we will get that A over sinus 30 degrees equals to B over sinus 50 degrees. So here we will divide the equation number 1 by B and then we will multiply it by sinus 30 degrees and we will get that according to equation number 1 A over B equals to sinus 30 degrees over sinus 50 degrees. In the next step, we will implement the law of sines in triangle ADC, this triangle. But first of all, we have already found out that angle BAC, this angle equals to 50 degrees. So if we define angle BAD, if we define this angle as theta, then the value of angle DAC will be equal to 50 degrees minus theta. So this angle equals to 50 degrees minus theta. And if we define this angle as, as Y, angle ADC, the angle that we are looking for we define it as y, then we know that the sum of the angles in any triangle is equal to 180 degrees, so in triangle ADC the sum of its angles must be 180 degrees, so here we have 50 degrees minus theta plus angle y, plus 100 degrees. In total, the sum of those angles must be equal to 180 degrees. So here we subtract 150 degrees from this equation and we will get that minus theta plus y equals to 180 degrees minus 150 degrees. That is to say it equals to 30 degrees. Here we will add theta to this equation and we will get that angle y equals to 30 degrees plus theta. So we actually found out that the angle that we are looking for, angle y equals to 30 degrees plus theta. In the next step, I will copy triangle ADC in a new page and we will implement the law of science in this triangle, triangle ADC.
So this is triangle ADC that I copied from the original drawing. We know that side AC equals to A units, side AD equals to B units in its length, angle DAC equals to 50 degrees minus theta, angle ACD equals to 100 degrees, and angle ADC, this angle, equals to 30 degrees plus theta. So, according to the law of signs, we will get that A over 30 degrees plus theta equals to B over A, actually this is A over sinus 30 degrees plus theta equals to B over sinus 100 degrees. So here we will divide the equation number 2 by B and then we will multiply it by some 30 degrees plus theta and we will get that according to equation number 2 A over B equals to sinus 30 degrees plus theta over sinus 100 degrees this is according to equation number 2 but according to equation Number one, we have already found out that A over B equals to sinus 30 degrees over sinus 50 degrees. So we have two different expressions for A over B. Therefore, we will create equation number one that states, we will create equation number three that states that A over B according to equation number one must be equal to A over B according to equation number two. So, A over B according to equation number one is sinus 30 degrees over sinus 50 degrees. And it must be equal to A over B according to equation number 2. And A over B according to equation number 2 is sinus 30 degrees plus theta. Over sinus 100 degrees. I repeat again, equation number 3 states that sinus A over B, A over B according to equation number 1 that is sinus 30 degrees over sinus 50 degrees equals to A over B according to equation number 2 that is actually sinus 30 degrees plus theta over sinus 100 degrees. Here we will cross multiply this equation, equation number 3 and we will get that According to equation number three, first of all, we know that sinus 30 degrees is 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 times sinus 100 degrees equals to sinus 30 degrees plus theta times sinus 50 degrees. So here we will use the trigonometric identity that states that sinus 2a equals to 2 sinus a cosinus a 
and we use this monomatic identity in order for the value of sine of 100 degrees. According to this trigonometric identity, we will we'll get that the value of sine of 100 degrees is 2 times sine of 50 degrees times cosine 50 degrees. That equals to sine of 30 degrees plus theta times sine of 50 degrees. We know that 2 over 2 is 1, so 2 will get cancelled. We have sinus 50 degrees on both sides of equation number 3, so sinus 50 degrees will also get cancelled. And we left only, according to equation number 3, cosine 50 degrees equals to sinus 30 degrees plus 10 here we will use the trigonometric identity that states that cosine alpha equals to sinus 90 degrees minus alpha so according to this trigonometric identity, we will get that the value of cosine 50 degrees will be equal to sinus 90 degrees minus 50 degrees. 90 degrees minus 50 degrees is 40 degrees. So we actually found out that cosine 50 degrees equals to sinus 40 degrees. Therefore, we will substitute cosine 50 degrees in this equation, equation number 3, by sinus 40 degrees. So we will do it now and we will get that according to equation number 3, sinus 40 degrees equals to sinus 30 degrees plus theta Sinus 40 degrees equals to sinus 30 degrees plus theta means that 40 degrees equals to 30 degrees plus theta. Here we'll subtract 30 degrees from this equation and we we'll get that angle theta equals to 40 degrees minus 30 degrees, angle theta equals to 10 degrees. So we found out that angle theta equals to 10 degrees. But the angle that we are looking for equals to 30 degrees plus theta. That is to say angle ADC that equals to 30 degrees plus theta will be equal to 30 degrees plus 10 degrees. That is to say it will be equal to 40 degrees. So we found out that the angle that we are looking for, that is actually angle ADC that equals to 30 degrees plus theta equals to 40 degrees. Okay, angle ADC equals to 40 degrees. So we finished with the first method. In the next step, I will present to you how to find out the value of angle ADC according to the second method. In the, uh, in the second method, we will define side BC as A. 
that is to say the length of side VC equals to A units. So we know that AD equals to BC according to what is given us in the question. And according to our definition, BC equals to A. So from this equation, AD equals to BC equals to A, we will derive that AD also equals to A. In the next step, we will extend side BC by a straight line. And from point A, we will go perpendicular to the extended BC. So this angle will be equal to 90 degrees, and this angle will be also equal to 90 degrees. We will define the intersection point between the perpendicular from point A and the extended BC is point E. And actually, what is the value of angle ACE? Uh, before that, we know that BC is one side of the angle ABC, therefore it is absolutely a straight line. And when we extended the straight line BC by straight line, we got line segment BE that would be still a straight line. So we know that line segment BE is a straight line. BE is a straight line, and we have the rule that the sum of the angles on one side of a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. So if you focus on the upper side of the straight line BE at point C, then the sum of the angles must be equal to 180 degrees. So if you define angle ACE as Y, then and on the upper side of the straight line BE at point C, the sum of the angles must be equal to 180 degrees. That is to say, 100 degrees plus the size of angle Y must be equal to 180 degrees. So here we will subtract 100 degrees from this equation and we will get that angle Y equals to 180 degrees minus 100 degrees is 80 degrees. So we found out that the value of angle Y is 80 degrees, so I will substitute angle Y by angle that is 80 degrees. In the next step, we will define side AE as Y, that is to say the length of side AE is Y units, and we will define the length of side EE or, or line segment CE as X. That is to say, the length of line segment CE is equal to X units. And then, we will focus on the right triangle, triangle ACE. On the right triangle, triangle ACE, Tangents 80 degrees equals to AE over CE. I repeat again in the right triangle, triangle ACE, tangents 80 degrees equals to AE over CE.
but A E equals to Y according to our definition and C E equals to X according to our definition also. So in conclusion, we got that according to equation number one, tangents 80 degrees equals to Y over X. I'll repeat again, according to equation number one, tangents 80 degrees equals to y over x. We will multiply equation number one by x and we will get that y equals to, according to equation number one, y equals to x times tangents 80 degrees. According to equation number one, y equals to x times tan tangent 80 degrees. In the next step, we will focus on triangle ADE, the right triangle, triangle ADE. On the right triangle, triangle ADE, we will define angle ADE, the angle that we are looking for is angle theta. So according in the right triangle, triangle ADE, we know that sine of theta equals to AE over AD. Sine of theta equals to AE over AD. But AE equals to Y. And AD equals to A according to what we have already found out. So in conclusion, we actually found out that sine of theta equals to y over a. I repeat again, in the right triangle, triangle ADE, sine of theta equals to y over a. Here we will multiply question number two by a, and then we will divide it by sine of theta. And we will get that according to equation number two, A equals to Y over sine of theta. But according to equation number one, Y equals to X times 80 degrees, so we will substitute y in equation number 2 by x times 80 degrees and we get that according to equation number 2 a equals to y that is x times 80 degrees over sine of theta so we actually found out that according to equation number 2 a equals to x times times 80 degrees over sine of theta and according to equation number one, y equals to x times tangent 80 degrees. In the next step, we will focus on triangle ABE, the right triangle, triangle ABE. On the right triangle, triangle ABE, this right triangle, we know that tangent 80, uh, 30 degrees equals to AE over BE. I'll repeat again, on the right triangle, triangle ABE, tangent 40 degrees equals to AE over BE. So, tangent 40 degrees equals to AE, but AE equals to Y according to our definition, and BE 
equals to a plus x, also according to our definition. So in conclusion, I found out that in the, that in the right triangle, triangle ABE, times 30 degrees equals to y over a plus x. So here, we will substitute y by the value of y according to equation number one that is actually x times 80 degrees. And we will substitute a in this equation. This is actually equation number three. And we'll substitute A in this equation, equation number three, by the value that we found from A according to equation number two. According to equation number two, A equals to X times 80 degrees over sinus theta. So we'll do it now and we'll get that according to equation number three, tangents 30 degrees equals to y and y according to equation of number one is x times 80 degrees over a plus x and a according to equation number two equals to x times 80 degrees over sinus theta and we also have to add a uh, x is y over a plus x, so we will multiply x by sinus theta and then we will divide it by sinus theta, so we change nothing, therefore it is allowable. So in the next step, we will move sinus theta from the denominator to the numerator here. And we will get that according to equation number three, tangents 30 degrees equals to x times tangents 80 degrees times sinus theta over x times tangents 80 degrees. plus x times sinus theta. So here we have x in the denominator and we have x in the numerator, so x will get cancelled. And we also know that tangent 80 degrees is 1 over square root of 3 units, so I will substitute we substitute tangent uh, 30 degrees by 1 over square root of 3 units and we will get that 1 over square root of 3 equals to tangent 80 degrees times sinus theta over tangent 80 degrees plus sinus theta So here we will cross multiply this equation, equation number 3, and we will get that according to equation number 3, tangent 80 degrees. plus sinus theta equals to square root of 3 times tangent 80 degrees times sinus theta
Professor Ear, we have some slides from the question of the first and the theta, and we will get that. Tangents 80 degrees equals to score to 3 times tangents 80 degrees times sinus theta minus sinus theta So here we, we take sine of theta as a current factor on this side of equation number 3 and we will get that tangent 80 degrees equals to, so we took sine of theta as a current factor what we'll have inside the brackets of this expression after we took from it sine of theta as a common factor what is left it is actually square root of 3 times tangents 80 degrees and what is left for minus sine of theta after we took from it sine of theta as a common factor what is left it is actually minus 1 So here we will divide the equation number 3 by square root of 3 times 80 degrees minus theta and we will get that sine of theta according to equation number 3 will be equal to times 80 degrees over square root of 3 times times 80 degrees minus 1 Here we we'll substitute tangent 80 degrees in this equation, equation number 3, by sinus 80 degrees over cosine 80 degrees, and we will get that according to equation number 3, sinus theta equals to sinus 80 degrees over cosine 80 degrees. Over Square root of 3 times tangent 80 degrees and tangent 80 degrees is sinus 80 degrees over cosine 80 degrees. And we also have to subtract 1, so we we'll substitute 1 by minus cosine 80 degrees over cosine 80 degrees. And we will get that minus cosine 80 degrees. So we already know cosine minus cosine 80 degrees over cosine 80 degrees is minus 1. So here we have cosine 80 degrees in the numerator and we have cosine 80 degrees in the denominator so cosine 80 degrees will get cancelled and what is left for equation number 3 after we cancelled cosine 80 degrees what is left it is actually here we have sinus theta that equals to sinus 80 degrees over square root of 3 times sinus 80 degrees minus cosine 80 degrees so here we will multiply the denominator on this side of equation number 3 by 2 and then we will divide it by 2 and we will get that according to equation number 3 sinus theta equals to sinus 80 degrees
over 2 times. So we multiply the denominator by 2 and now I will divide it by 2. 2 times square root of 3 divided by 2 times sine of 80 degrees minus and we also divide cosine 80 degrees by 2 because here we multiply it by 2 So we got here that according to equation number 3, sinus theta equals to sinus 80 degrees over 2 times sinus 80 degrees and square root of 3 over 2 is cosine 30 degrees. So we substitute square root of 3 over 2 by cosine 30 degrees. Minus, we substitute 1 over 2 by sine 30 degrees. Times cosine 80 degrees. So actually we have the expression in the denominator sinus 80 degrees times cosine 30 degrees minus sinus 30 degrees times cosine 80 degrees. This expression is very similar to the trigonometric identity that sinus A cosine B minus sinus B cosine A equals to sinus a minus b so according to this trigonometric identity we can substitute our expression by sinus a minus b when a equals to 80 degrees and b equals to 30 degrees so we we'll do it now I'll repeat again, we'll substitute our expression by sinus a minus b when a equals to 80 degrees and b equals to 30 degrees. And we will get that according to equation number 3, sinus theta equals to sinus 80 degrees over two times sinus a minus b it is sinus a is 80 degrees b is 30 degrees so it is actually sinus 30 degrees uh, sinus 80 degrees minus 30 degrees 80 degrees minus 30 degrees is 50 degrees so I write it down we actually got that going into equation number 3 sinus theta equals to sinus 80 degrees over 2 times sinus 50 degrees according to the trigonometric identity that states that sinus alpha equals to cosine 90 degrees minus alpha we will get that the value of sinus 50 degrees it will be equal to cosine 90 degrees minus 50 degrees ninety degrees minus fifty degrees is forty degrees so we actually found out that sinus fifty degrees equals to cosine forty degrees therefore we can substitute sinus 50 degrees in equation number 3 here by cosine 40 degrees so we do it now and we get that according to equation number 3 sinus theta equals to sinus 
80 degrees divided by two times sine 50 degrees and sine 50 degrees equals to cosine 40 degrees according to what we have already found out. So we substitute sine 50 degrees by cosine 40 degrees. So in conclusion, we actually found out that according to equation number three, Sinus theta equals to sinus 80 degrees over 2 times cosine 40 degrees. Here we will use the trigonometric identity that states that sinus 2a equals to 2 sinus a cosine a. So according to this trigonometric identity, we will get that the value of sine 80 degrees is equal actually to 2 sine 40 degrees times cosine 40 degrees, all divided by 2 cosine 40 degrees. So here we have. 2 over 2 is 1, so 2 will get cancelled, and we have cosine 40 degrees in the numerator, and we have cosine 40 degrees in the denominator, so cosine 40 degrees will also get cancelled, and we left only, according to equation number 3, sinus theta equals to sinus 40 degrees. Sinus theta equals to sinus 40 degrees means the theta equals to 40 degrees. So we actually found out that angle theta equals to 40 degrees and this is also the value of the angle that you are looking for that is actually angle ADC equals to theta equals to 40 degrees. So we found out that angle ADC equals to angle theta that equals to 40 degrees therefore the value of angle ADC is 40 degrees. So we'll finish with the, first, uh, with the second method. In the next step, I will summarize the lecture. Actually, we found out the value of angle ADC in two different methods. In the first method, in the first method, we defined side AC is A, side BC is B. And according to what is given us in the question, we know that AD equals to BC. And according to our definition, BC equals to B. So, from this equation that AD equals to BC equals to B, we will derive that AD also equals to B. So, we can write here that AD equals to B. Then, I presented to you the law of sines. The law of sines is true in any triangle. So, if we have this triangle, triangle ABC, that could be any triangle. We know that side AB equals to C units in its length, side AC equals to B units, and side BC equals to A units. Then, according to the law of sines, A over sine A equals to B over sine B equals to C over sine C. And it is true in any triangle. So, from this formula, we will derive that A over sine A equals to B over sine B. In the next step, we will implement the law of sines in our triangle, triangle ABC.
So I draw Triangle ABC in a new page. This is Triangle ABC from the original drawing. We know that angle ABC equals to 40, 30 degrees, angle ACB equals to 100 degrees, AC equals to A, BC equals to B, and uh, First of all, we will find out the value of this angle, the missing angle. We will define it as angle X, and we know that the sum of the angles in any triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, X plus 100 degrees plus 50 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees in triangle, this triangle, triangle ABC. Here, we subtracted 150 degrees from this equation, and we found out that angle X equals to 100 80 degrees minus 120 degrees is 50 degrees. So the value of angle B is 50 degrees. Then we implemented the law of sines. This triangle, triangle ABC, according to the law of sines, A over sine 30 degrees equals to B over sine 50 degrees. Then we divided the equation number 1 by B, and then we multiplied it by sine 30 degrees. And we got that A over B equals to sinus 30 degrees or sinus 50 degrees according to equation number one. Then we focused on triangle ADC. Actually, uh, but first of all, we already found out that angle BAC, this angle equals to 50 degrees. So if we define angle B A D this angle is theta, and then the value of this angle, angle D A C, will be equal to 50 degrees minus theta. So angle D A C equals to 50 degrees minus theta. And we found out the value of this angle. Uh, we defined the missing angle, this angle, angle A D C, as angle Y, and we know that the sum of the angles in triangle A D C must be equal to 180 degrees. So the size of this angle, that is actually angle Y plus the size of this angle that is 100 degrees, plus the size of this angle that is 50 degrees minus theta, must be equal to 180 degrees. We subtracted 150 degrees from this equation, and we got that minus theta plus y equals to 180 degrees minus 150 degrees is 30 degrees. So we got that minus theta plus y equals to 30 degrees, then we added theta to this equation, and we found out that angle y equals to 30 degrees plus theta. So the angle that you are looking for, that is to say angle ADC equals to 30 degrees plus theta. Then I copy triangle ADC in a new page. And we implemented the law of sines in this triangle, triangle ADC. So this is triangle ADC that I copied from the original drawing. We know that this angle DAC equals to 50 degrees minus theta. Uh, angle ADC, the missing angle, the angle that we are looking for equals to 40 degrees plus theta. And the angle ACD equals to 100 de degrees. It is given as the question. We also don't know that AC equals to A units, AD equals to B units. And uh, uh, we will implement the law of sines in this triangle, triangle ADC. According to the law of sines, we will get that A over sinus 30 degrees plus theta equals to B over sinus 100 degrees. A over sinus 30 degrees plus theta equals to B over sinus 100 degrees. Here, we divided the equation number 2 by B, and then we multiply it by sinus 30 degrees plus theta. And we got that A over B, according to equation number 2, equals to sinus 30 degrees plus theta over sinus 100 degrees. But according to equation number one, we have already found out that A over B equals to sine 30 degrees over sine 50 degrees. So we can create equation number three that states that A over B according to equation number one must be equal to A over B according to equation number two. So this is equation number three. A over B according to equation number one is sinus 30 degrees over sinus 50 degrees. And it equals to A over B according to equation number two that is actually sinus 30 degrees plus theta over sinus 100 degrees. 
E will be cost multiplied this equation, equation number three. And we know that sinus 40 degrees is one over two, so we got here that one over two times a sine 100 degrees equals to sinus 40 degrees plus theta times sinus 50 degrees. Here we use the, the trigonometric identity that sine 2a equals to 2 sine a times cosine a for the, for the expression sinus 100 degrees. According to this trigonometric identity, we will get that sinus 100 degrees equals to 2 sine 50 degrees times cosine 80 degrees. That equals to sine 30 degrees plus theta times sine 50 degrees. Here, 2 over 2 is 1. We have sine 50 degrees in both sides of equation number 3. So sine 50 degrees will get cancelled. And we left only with cosine 50 degrees. That equals to sine 30 degrees plus theta. So we use the thermometric identity that states that cosine alpha equals to sine 90 degrees minus alpha. According to this thermometric identity, we will get that cosine 50 degrees equals to sine 90 degrees minus 50 degrees. 90 degrees minus 50 degrees is 40 degrees. So we actually found out that cosine 50 degrees equals to sine 40 degrees. Therefore, we can substitute cosine 50 degrees in this equation, equation number 3, by sine 40 degrees. We did it, and we got that sine 40 degrees equals to sine 30 degrees plus theta. Sine 40 degrees equals to sine 40 degrees plus theta means that 40 degrees equals to 30 degrees plus theta. We subtracted 30 degrees from this equation and found out that theta equals to 10 degrees. Here, theta equals to 10 degrees. But the angle that we are looking for is equal to 30 degrees plus theta. Therefore, angle ADC, the angle that we are looking for, that equals to 30 degrees plus theta, will be equal to 30 degrees plus 10 degrees is 40 degrees. So we found out that the angle that we are looking for, angle ADC, equals to 40 degrees. We finished with the first method. Then I presented to you how to find out the value of angle ADC according to the second method. In the second method, we actually defined side BCSA. And we know that AD equals to BC according to what is given us in the question from one side, but from the other side according to our definition BC equals to A. So from this equation AD equals to BC equals to A, we will derive that AD also equals to A. Then we extend that side BC by a straight line and then from point A we do perpendicular to the extended BC. So this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is also equal to 90 degrees. We define the intersection point between the perpendicular from point A and the extended BC as point E. And then we define line segment CE as X and line segment AE is Y. Then we found out the value of this angle, angle ACE. We know that BC is a straight line because it is one side of triangle ABC, therefore it must be a straight line. And then when we extended the straight line BC by a straight line, we got line segment BE that still must be a straight line. So we can write down that line segment BE is a straight line and we have, we have the rule that the sum of the angles on one side of a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. So if we focus on the upper side of the straight line BE at point C, then the sum of the angles on the upper side that of uh, the straight line B at point C must be equal to 180 degrees. So if you define angle AC as Y, then at point C we have 100 degrees plus angle Y. The sum of those two angles must be equal to 180 degrees according to the rule that I mentioned. 
100 degrees plus y equals to 180 degrees. We subtracted 100 degrees from this equation and we found out that angle y equals to 180 degrees minus other degrees. That is to say, angle y equals to 80 degrees. So we found out that this angle, angle ACE, equals to 80 degrees. Then we focused on the right triangle, triangle ACE. On the right triangle, triangle ACE. Uh, we know that tangents 80 degrees equals to AE over CE. Again, tangents 80 degrees equals to AE over CE. But AE equals to Y according to our definition. And CE also equals to Y according to our, And CE equals to X according to our definition also. So in conclusion, we found out that according to equation number one, tangents 80 degrees equals to Y over X. If we multiply this equation, equation number one by X, and we got that Y equals to X times tangents 80 degrees. Then we focus on the right triangle, triangle ADE. On the right triangle, triangle ADE, we defined angle A, D, E, the angle that we are looking for as angle theta. And we know that in the right triangle, triangle ADE, sinus theta equals to AE over AD. Again, in the right triangle, triangle ADE, sinus theta equals to AE over AD, but AE equals to Y according to our definition, and AD equals to Y according to what we have already found out. So according to equation number two, sinus theta in, in triangle ADE equals to Y over A. Here we multiply this equation by A, and then we divide it by sinus theta, and we got that A equals to Y over sinus theta. But y, according to equation number one, equals to x times tangents uh, 80 degrees. So we substituted y by x times tangents 80 degrees. And we got that a equals to, according to equation number two, equals to x times 80 degrees over sinus theta. Then we focused on the right triangle, triangle ABE, the big right triangle, triangle ABE. Here we know that tangents 30 degrees equals to AE over BE. Tangents 30 degrees equals to AE over BE in the right triangle, triangle ABE. But AE equals to Y, according to our definition. And BE, the value of BE equals to A plus X, also according to our definition. So in conclusion, we actually found out the tangent 30 degrees in triangle AB equals to y over a plus x. Then we substituted y by x times 80 degrees because y equals to x times x times tangent 80 degrees. And we substituted a by x times 80 degrees over sinus theta because a equals to x times 80 degrees over sinus theta. And then we added x to this expression, we actually multiplied x by sinus theta and then we divided by sinus theta so we changed nothing. And we moved sinus theta from the denominator to the numerator. And we got this equation number 3 that states that sinus theta equals to x times tangent 80 degrees times sinus theta over x times tangent 80 degrees plus x times sinus theta. We have x in the numerator and we have x in the denominator also, so x will get cancelled. And we also know that tangent 30 degrees equals to 1 over square root of 3 units. So we can substitute tangent 30 degrees by 1 over square root of 3. We did it and we got that 1 over square root of 3 equals to tangent 80 degrees times sinus theta over tangent 80 degrees plus sinus theta. Here we cross multiply this equation, equation number 3. And we got that. Tangent 80 degrees plus sinus theta equals to square root of 3 times tangent 80 degrees times sinus theta. Here we subtract the sinus theta from this equation, equation number 3, and we got that according to equation number 3, tangent 80 degrees equals to square root of 3 times tangent 80 degrees times sinus theta minus sinus theta. Here we took sinus theta as a common factor out of this expression and we got that tangent 80 degrees equals to sinus theta is taken as a common factor so inside the brackets 
from this expression what is left is square root of 3 times times 80 degrees and from this expression we left only with minus 1 so in conclusion we got the times 80 degrees equal to equals to sine of theta times square root of 3 times sine 80 degrees minus 1 here we divided this equation equation number 3 by square root of 3 times tangent 80 degrees minus 1 and we found out that sine of theta equals to tangent 80 degrees over the square root of 3 times tangent 80 degrees minus 1. Here we substituted tangent 80 degrees by sine of 80 degrees over cosine 80 degrees. So here we have sine of theta equals to tangent 80 degrees is sine of 80 degrees over cosine 80 degrees over square root of 3 times tangent 80 degrees and tangent 80 degrees is sine of 80 degrees over cosine 80 degrees. And we also have to subtract 1, so we substitute 1 by minus cosine 80 degrees over cosine 80 degrees. Here we have cosine 80 degrees in the numerator and we have cosine 80 degrees in the, in the denominator. So cosine 80 degrees will get cancelled. And we left only if sine theta that equals to sine 80 degrees over square root of 3 times sine 80 degrees minus cosine 80 degrees. Here we multiplied the denominator on this side of equation number 3 by 2 and then we divided it by 2 and we found out that sine of theta equals to sine 80 degrees so we multiplied by 2 and divided by 2. So here we multiply by 2 and then it is divided by 2. Okay. And in the next step we got that sine of theta equals to sine 80 degrees over 2 times sine of 80 degrees and we substituted the square root of 3 over 2 by cosine 30 degrees and here we substituted 1 over 2 by sine 30 degrees and we got this expression so this expression sine of 80 degrees times cosine 30 degrees minus sine of 30 degrees times cosine 80 degrees is very similar to the trigonometric identity that states that sine a cosine b minus sine b times cosine a equals to sine A minus B. Therefore, according to this trigonometric identity, we can substitute our expression by sine A, sine A minus B when A equals to 80 degrees and B equals to 50 degrees. Uh, and B equals to 30 degrees. A equals to 80 degrees and B equals to 30 degrees. So we did it and we got that sine of theta equals to sine of 80 degrees over 2 times sine a minus b, a equals to 80 degrees and b equals to 30 degrees. 80 degrees minus 30 degrees is 50 degrees. So we got uh, if sine of theta equals to sine 80 degrees over 2 times sine of 50 degrees. Then we use the trigonometric identity that states that sine of alpha equals to cosine 90 degrees minus alpha. According to this trigonometric identity, we will get that sine of 50 degrees equals to cosine 90 degrees minus 50 degrees. 90 degrees minus 50 degrees is 40 degrees. So in conclusion, we actually found out that sine of 50 degrees equals to cosine 40 degrees. Therefore, we can substitute sine of 50 degrees in this equation, equation number 3, by cosine 40 degrees. We did it. Here we substituted sine 50 degrees by cosine 40 degrees. So we got the equation that sine of theta equals to sine 80 degrees over 2 times cosine 40 degrees. According to the trigonometric identity that sine of 2a equals to 2 sine of a cosine a, we will get that the value of sine of 80 degrees is equal to 2 sine of 40 degrees times cosine 40 degrees. So in conclusion, we found out that sine of theta equals to 2 sine 40 degrees times cosine 40 degrees over 2 cosine 40 degrees. 2 over 2 is 1, so 2 will get cancelled. Cosine 40 degrees over cosine 40 degrees is also 1, so cosine 40 degrees also was cancelled. And we left only with sine theta that equals to sine 40 degrees. Sine theta equals to sine 40 degrees means that theta equals to 40 degrees. So we found out that the angle, angle theta equals to 40 degrees. So the angle that we are looking for, which is actually angle ADC that equals to angle theta. So therefore, angle ADC that equals to theta 
equals to 40 degrees. So in both methods, we found out that the angle that we are looking for, that is to say angle ADC, equals to 40 degrees. Okay? Thank you very much.